Love you. Would you mind waiting until I fall asleep? Of course. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to our channel. But before we start, I would want you to hit that red subscribe button so that you never miss out on any of our videos. 10 Things About Dead to Me Season 3 More juicy twists are here yet to come. Netflix drama comedy Dead to Me is set to come back with the third season and this time expectations surrounding women are high. Christina Applegate and Linda Cardelli play the lead on the show and come together to become BFFs through a tragedy. The creator left season 2 on a massive cliffhanger and the fans are seeking answers in season 3. Here are 10 things about Dead to Me season 3. Number 10, Season Finale Netflix has renewed the series for a third season as per the news from the show's social media team. On July of 2020, but sadly this will be the last of the series, Christina Applegate shared a post on her social media saying, I will miss these ladies, but we felt this was the best way to tie up the story of these women. At the time, the pandemic was at its peak, and the creators had expected to start production in the coming six months. The creator, Liz Feldman, said she knew that the show wasn't going to run for long, and this is what she had in mind. Whatever the case might be, this comedy thriller did keep us invested in it. No, thank you. You sure? Oh my god, excuse me! Do you see that we're in the middle of something here? Does it look like my friend wants to fucking dance? Number 9. Return of James Marsden And the end of season 2 left the audience craving for more with a dramatic cliffhanger. The two ladies get into an accident while driving back when they hit another car, and the final scene shows James Marsden, who plays Steve on the show. Does this mean he was still alive all along, or was it his triplet this time? Whatever it is, the cliffhanger certainly had fans asking for another season excitingly. Can't wait to see what Liz Feldman has in store with us for this season. <laughs> Sorry. One of the worst moments in your life, and you don't remember. I don't remember. Number 8, Release Date Back when the showrunners released a statement saying Dead to Me will return for another final season, they also revealed that production would begin in early 2021. They released news from their social media websites in July of 2021 and said that they have a few months to go before the shooting starts. Given the COVID pandemic, back then it was anticipated the shooting would start in 2021, which means there are chances the show could be released by the end of this year or the next. In 2019 and 2020, the seasons came in May, and the same was expected of 2021, but we all knew what happened to that. Netflix approved the storyline back in September of 2020, which means shooting is probably underway now. The series belongs to the chemistry between Christina Applegate and Linda Cardellini. On screen together they have been electric, making for some truly hilarious comedy and heart-wrenching drama. Number 7. That's not all from Liz Feldman. Besides the sad news that says Dead to Me Season 3 will be the series finale on Netflix, the good news is that Liz Feldman will stick with the Netflix for more series. She said that she had always envisioned Dead to Me to end this way but isn't going anywhere as of yet. She gave us this amazing thriller and we expect more from her in the shape of other exciting series on Netflix. We felt this was the best way to tie up the story of these women. Thank you to all the fans. We will be getting back to work when it is safe to do so. Fans thinking the show faced the dreaded Netflix. Number 6. Pattern. There is an apparent pattern that the show has followed in its first two seasons. Each of them focuses on a particular character's secrets. The first was Judy's secret, where she had been involved in a hit and run and ended up taking the life of Jen's husband. In the second season, Jen had taken Steve's life but not in self-defense as she claimed. Our expectations for season 3 state that the upcoming season will have a secret holder. The showrunner, in an interview, confirmed this saying, There's more of the story to tell. Now there's somebody else with the secret. Our guess is, it's Ben. Left the scene immediately after the car crash, and since he's returning, the story might actually revolve around him. Number 5. Jen's Secret Well, we all know that Jen had lied about killing Steve, but the characters in the show are not aware of this. In the last episode of the second season, Jen's son, Charlie, found a letter that his mother wrote Judy explaining why she handed over herself to the police. But no one is sure if she actually read the letter, and if he had, things would be taking a different turn for season 3. He will practically find out everything there is to know, i.e. Judy was responsible for her father's demise and Jen was guilty of Steve's departure. He could either make their lives miserable or blackmail them. So much more. When you think of love, do you think of pen and check I me would up? like to share that I'm really grateful do you to like Jen for her friendship. Number 4, Jen's Arrest now that Jen has written a rather revealing letter, there is one big question that needs to be asked. Will Jen get caught? And if she does, will she be put in jail for season 3? We know that Jen was ready to face the consequences of her actions and save Judy from all the mess. 
Jen practically told the detective about her involvement in Steve's disappearance. Despite this, a lot happened during the final episodes of season two that left loose ends. The letter is found, Jen has opened up to Perez, and Steve's body is missing. The secrets have not remained secret anymore. Fuck. I'm a good guy, Jen. No, you're not a good guy. <laughs> Number three, Steve's shady dealings. There's a good possibility that Steve's money laundering scheme and connection to the mafia will come back to haunt him in season three. Although we haven't been introduced to any of the sorts of season two, we do expect the showrunners to start a story and give it an end. However, the involvement of the chief of police is a clue and we are hoping it will come back to him in the new season. Perhaps Jim, Judy, and Agent Perez will all be on it together. I'm so sorry. Like the only good part of this whole thing. Why are you sorry? You need to be sorry. <laughs> like, you don't know me that well. Number two, Steve's Dilemma. James Marsden, in an interview with TV Guide, said there is a possibility that season three will revolve around Ben's dilemma. There is a chance he will find out that Jin was responsible for his brother's death. He will find how all of them are guilty of a hit and run, and this will change the show's direction. Although he didn't say anything with certainty because he can't reveal secrets, his revelations made a lot of sense. With the surprising end of season two, it is sure that Ben has set himself up in the situation. I have to say all these, you know, really foul, uh, vitriolic things. <laughs> as fun as it is to play sometimes, you know, and just get really kind of nasty. Her hand was on the wheel, her foot was on the gas. Number one, cast members. Of course, there is no show without Jen and Judy, and it was confirmed by the showrunners that Applegate and Cardellini will both be a part of season three. The tweet said, with the co-stars writers back in the fold for the final go, it sounds like everyone is working together to bring Dead to Me home. We will also see a lot of James Marsden since he is the main person behind the entanglements. Besides them, the other members of the cast will also return. It was exciting to me. I think we're always sort of answer, asking and then hopefully answering the question in season two. I'm going to give away the secret of season three and from here on two. out. You know, can a, a, a friendship built on lies, you know, succeed? Welcome to Entertainment Weekly's Around the Table at Home. That we'll be shooting like this if we have. <laughs> yeah. Right, I don't. I don't think any of us are sitting at a table, but that's okay. I'm Liz Feldman, creator and showrunner of uh, Netflix's Dead to Me. that way. And then there's a, Linda Cardellini. Hi, I'm Linda Cardellini. There, there she is. Me. That's Christina Applegate. I see her this way. Oh, okay. Yeah, where is she? And then. Uh, uh. <laughs> This brings us to the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit like if you did, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss any of our videos in the future. Also, watch the two videos that are on your screen because I'm sure you'll love them. With that, I'll see you in the next video.